Yo, what's up, y'all? What's the deal? It's Kyle. I'm back at it again. We got another one for y'all. Um, it's your first time here on the channel. I really appreciate y'all coming in, stopping by, showing the kids some love, checking out these videos. It really helped the channel grow a lot. If y'all like this, man, like, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Subscribe to the channel, man. Turn the notifications on. We do come with weekly drops, man. But this video here, um, it's gonna be about my inside of the waistband holster. There was a lot of different options out there. We, we went around, I looked around, but the one that I decided to go with is I went with tier one. Um, I got heard a lot of good reviews about tier one. I watched a lot of comparisons videos on, you know, on different, different holsters. Um, and tier one was the one that I leaned with. This one specifically is the tier one Axis Slim uh, sidecar, sidecar right here for the magazine. Um, I thought it was cool. It's, it's been real good for me. Um, made out of the Kydex. One good thing about the Kydex is at any point, if anything is rubbing the wrong way, you can get a file that you can shave it down and make it feel a little bit better for you. Um, obviously, it's custom with the red carbon on the back, the black carbon on the front, red and black guts on the inside. This has been a really good, it's been a really good, uh, a real good carry holster for me. Um, definitely had to go in and make my adjustments to put everything in a position to where I needed it to be to where it was comfortable for me. So, you know, don't just think that you're going to be able to just get it out the box and throw it on and, you know, it's going to be perfect. I've heard people say that they hated it. They got it out. They use it. They hate it. But once they go in and they make their adjustments to make the gun, you know, a little bit more suitable for them and their body type, you know, they, they enjoy it. Um, what I run in this, uh, this is, I run my FN in this 509. Um, just for all y'all cowboys out there that's want to be up in somebody's business, it's empty. Don't worry about it. Hollow Sun on everything. Hollow Sun 508T for all your daughters that don't know. 509C type. Um, 15 rounder in it. Um, fit perfect. Obviously, this is a custom holster. You know, everything is not going to come perfect for every gun. So, you know, depending on what you got on your gun and how your shit set up, then you're going to have to go back in and you're going to have to get it uh, tailored to your weapon. Um, so for mine, because it has a threaded barrel, you see I have to have that little extra piece of real estate down there. Um, because I am running a light, uh, you can see the light through there. Because I am running a light, I did have to have... Um, this put here but when you go in on tier one tier one makes it pretty easy for you they they have options for everything if you're a left-hander if you're a right-hander if you got a threaded barrel if you have a light or uh, optic system if you want to do the sidecar whatever you want to do with that they make it pretty simple it's pretty cut and dry probably one of the only things that i would have done differently uh i think about it instead of having this magazine facing in this way i probably would have flipped it around and, and put it the other way just because when I when I grab it and I pull it out, when I'm reaching down for it, you know, when I'm reaching down for my, my I'm grabbing it like this. So to put it in my gun, I'm gonna have to. It's it's kind of it's it's just awkward, you know, if it's a situation where I gotta pull this out, drop this mag, pull out this one like this, and I guess it's I guess. But for me, I probably would have would have preferred to have it the other way, not the recommended way. So when I get down there and I grab it and I got to come in, then I can just come straight here. See what I'm saying? Outside of that, man, this thing is cool. It conceals very well. It's comfortable. Some some points is not comfortable. And, you know, and a lot of it may have to do it. I got a big 24 rounder in it. If it was a 15 and if I had two 15s, a 15 in a gun and a 15 in the sidecar, maybe it would feel a little different. But for me... That's probably one of the, the, the main things that I have an issue with is this big 24. And then this big piece of this Kydex on the back that holds up the back of the rail or, you know, this is, it kind of digs into my, my appendix sometime. Um, but let me get up, I'll show y'all, put it on, let me show you what it look like. You see, um, so for me, when I wear shorts, when I don't got jeans on, I don't have a belt on, I like to take this little hook here and I like to put it on top of my pants that way it kind of brings the gun up a little bit because if it's in my pants and it's down like this then now sometimes I have to go in and fight with my pants to be able to get to the gun but if I got it on top of my pants like here it gives me a better see what I'm saying 
this here, I can get my fingers in there and get it out. But what I was saying about the 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 placement of the magazine, um, let's go in, let's say I gotta pull out, boom, 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 boom. This mag drops out. So to get to this one, I have to grab it here. And you see how it comes out? It comes out facing this way. So now I have to either take the gun, manipulate this here, and twist this here to be able to come in. Right. But if this thing was the other way, which I would have preferred it to be, if I got to come in, I drop that magazine, I grab this, now I can just come here. See that? Now I can just come straight here. But outside of that, it was really good. You know, it's comfortable. I can sit down with it. You know, obviously I have to make my adjustments when I'm coming in and sitting down to where it's kind of sitting on top of my package, you know, so it's not digging into my package because nobody wants their package to get dug into. But I mean, but other than that, I mean, it's a good holster. Cause it was pretty well. I mean, yeah, you can see it in the front a little bit again. Maybe it's because of the fact that I have a, maybe it's because of the fact that I'm stuffing a 24 in it. And you know, that makes it hang a little bit more than what, but I mean, it's, it's pretty low key. Now for people that like to wear tight shirts, two small shirts, uh, this might be a problem for you, bro. This might be a problem for you, bro, because now your shirt is too tight and now your shirt is imprinting. I mean, some type of prints are good, if you know what I'm saying. Some ain't. But from here, I mean, you can't really tell. You got a, the right shirt on. You can in some aspects, at some points you can, but some you can't, but for the most part, that's it. So yeah, man. Um, tier one, tier one concealed. Hold on, wait. Give me a second. Let me go to tier one's website. I'm gonna go to tier one's website real quick, and I'm gonna check this out, and I'm gonna see which way it is that I would prefer if I had to to make this choice again. T i e r. Tier one concealed. Let's see. Tier one concealed. Uh, let's go to holsters. We're gonna go to inside the waistband. I'm gonna go to Axis Slim because that's what this is. Um, the round orientation. So the round orientation that tier one has on here, which is the recommended, which is this way, is the rounds facing the gun. They want it to face the gun. For me, I probably would do the opposite way, the non-recommended, the rounds facing away from the gun. Figure out what works for you. I know you don't have a gun. I mean, I know you don't have this in front of you, but you know, you can put your rounds, you can put your, the extra magazine wherever you want to put it and you know, try to pull it out, facing your gun, away from your gun, see what works better. That would be my suggestion for this, but tier one, tier one conceal, man. That's it. That's pretty much it for me on this thing. I mean, I like it. I like it. If you're in the market for a good inside the waistband holster, I mean, I suggest y'all holler at Tier 1 Conceal. That's pretty much it. If y'all like this video, man, please like, please share, please subscribe, turn those notifications on, and help the channel grow tremendously. Um, catch y'all on the next one.